Oh, perfect timing. The boiler's come on. So, new year, new approach to how I'm going to be recording videos for the channel. Yes, I know, Abs. Just let me say this piece. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, last year there was lots of things that went on, which I thought would have made uh, good YouTube content, but didn't make the cut or I didn't have time to video it or I didn't have time to edit it. It's quite difficult to fit this in to a full work schedule and looking after kids. Chance has knocked a shoe out of the cupboard. Yeah, so it's quite difficult to fit all of this into a busy work life schedule. So what I'm going to try to do is record uh, as much footage on a daily basis, set aside an hour on the evening to edit the video and hopefully get a video up every day about what's going on in the day. Now it's not always going to be uh, focused around work, it might be focused around something I'm doing at home, but most things are going to be in the vein of uh, building new equipment, refurbishing the new unit, or even opening a new pub, filling out applications, for the new brewery licences, filling out applications for premises licences. We'll walk you through all of it, we'll show you how all of it's going to work. Maybe, uh, if I can squeeze this in. So I'm going to trial this for, for January, I think. Uh, so you'll get an upload every day, 8 o'clock in the morning. Click the subscribe button, click the little bell icon as well, so you're made aware of when the upload is live. And we'll see how we go. So not everything is going to be glamorous as most of the vloggers that you see on YouTube for instance. You see most of my daily life is pretty much run of the mill, get up, take the kids to school, go to work, pick the kids up from school, cook tea, on the days that I pick the kids up from school. If I'm not picking the kids up from school, then you can scratch the picking the kids up from school section. And a fair bit of it, quite frankly, it's downright dirty work. Like picking up dog muck in the yard. Nobody wants to do this. You don't very often catch me on the trampoline. So one or two other things uh, that I won't be able to share with you on the vlog at the moment is uh, some of the legal stuff we're still putting to bed Idle Valley Brewery uh, through liquidators and this involves investigations and sensitive things so uh, until that's finished that's probably the only aspect uh, that I won't be broadcasting on YouTube but everything else almost everything else is pretty much uh, on the cards I think for this for this uh, new video login uh, idea moving forwards. And this is for the trampoline to live in. Oh, that smells fresh. Oh, yeah, goof. So, this is pretty much how I'm going to be spending most of my videos, I think. So, uh, so most of the things that I'm going to be shooting will revolve around uh, moving a lot of my uh, work related tools and area up to the new unit so I can work out of one place. I'll be building a whole uh, workstation there, full workshop, full kitted out workshop to allow me to do more joinery. Uh, welding for instance and lots more lots more builds there's going to be a, a big big focus on building things on the channel not necessarily how to's but projects as they as they go on we have lots of storage issues for instance in the house it's very very small like two up two down place that we live in and with two kids in there me Gemma and a dog 
there's no room left. There's no room left. So I'm really focused this year on maximising and utilising all the space that we've got in the house. So there will be projects there. And of course, we're going to be focusing on getting the brewery uh, up and running. That's going to be a pretty much brand new, uh, right from the ground up build. Uh, because all of the equipment from Idle Valley is going to be auctioned off. Now unless I buy any of that back, then I'll be rebuilding again. And then getting the garden and uh, everything else in order. So, you know, it might not be the most exciting thing on YouTube, but it's going to be a chronological uh, documentation of everything that I'm going to be doing, at least for January 2018. <laughs> So I told you it was going to be non-stop, didn't I? Non-stop amazing fun. Right, so I've put the trampoline away for the kids for the winter because chances are it's going to end up like four gardens down or something like that. So every year I've trampled it away and then when I put it up in the spring it's like they've got a brand new trampoline and they friggin' love it. And I'm also doing some tidying up in the shed and i found <clears throat> some blanks for mash paddles. So I thought, why not, here's one, a few cobwebs on it, made out of uh, spruce I think, it's not in best shape, there's a few bits, a uh, few splinters on it and whatnot. but what I thought I'd do is clean this bad boy up, just give it a quick sand basically, and I'll run a competition for the new year. Why not? Bit of a giveaway. And I'll pick it out at random. So all I want you to do is obviously subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. And then out of all of the comments, I will pick one individual, one lucky individual for this, and I'll send it to them. Anywhere in the world, providing there are no restrictions on import of timber. I know for instance Australia, they will not allow me to ship this into Australia without passing certain regulations. So chances are if you're in Australia, you ain't going to get it. Uh, but I think we can get across to the States, no problem. Canada, no problem. I have sent one to New Zealand, I think, in the past. I'm not sure. No, it was beers to Paul Wicksteed. Uh, so yeah, like I say, it's not in great nick, but if you want this, like, subscribe, leave a comment. So we had Davey around last night, Dave and Sarah, like a New Year's Eve Eve thing. Come around to see everybody. On the round, she was on the round visiting. They popped into ours anyway. And we had pizza. It's not often we have pizza. So it's now half past two. And I'm looking through the boxes to see what's left. Aha. And there's one slice of hot and spicy. Mine. It's better to do it in the oven. Yeah, it is better to do it in the oven. I don't have time for the oven. I was meant to go to the unit and pick some stuff up, but it's starting to get dark out now. So I think what I'll do is quickly shoot down there and get the bits that I need. I need to put up a bookshelf in the kids' room for all their CDs and stuff. Because Abby's got this humongous, and it is massive, uh, doll's house. So that can't live down here after Crimbo. It's got to go upstairs. So let's go and get the drill. We'll shoot down. So at least I'm doing something today. Well, New Year's Eve, if you didn't already know, tonight is New Year's Eve. It's four o'clock, it's getting dark. Nobody's got any plans for anything special tonight. Dominic wants to go to his grandma's. And I'm going to pick up a drill to fit 
foot and bookshelves to fit some bookshelves on the kids wall so we can move Abigail's doll's house Rock and frag and roll baby The good thing is that I'm DIYing and that's what the channel's all about right I should be showing you I do loads of stuff through the week I just don't film any of it because I'm so keen just to get the freaking job done I'm like head down get the job done then it's finished at least it's finished so my intentions are to capture everything that I'm doing whether it's putting a shelf up at home or learning to TIG weld for instance there are so many things that I actually do throughout the week and I just don't find the time I just don't find the time to you know to turn the camera on and sort of record all of it it's it's not easy when you've got a thousand and one jobs on your plate and you just want to see them off you just want to get them finished so it's really quite difficult to have the incentive or the energy to pick up the camera and say a piece to camera and I quite often forget as well I forget what I'm going to talk about as soon as I've gone and got the camera out and set it up I'm like what was I going to say oh, I said it I'll just carry on and uh, finish the job that I'm doing and I think it is a bit of a cop out really so even though I don't necessarily have much to say on a day-to-day -day basis I definitely have things to show you things that I'm doing jobs that I'm completing things that I think should be shared on YouTube for instance this workshop this has been sort of 90% completed off camera I mean you're a bit you probably don't even know where I am in the unit so all these things I'm going to remedy in the new year and each day I'm going to try try my best to find something interesting to document and share on YouTube and from one day to the next they could be absolutely random things completely different things right where's that SDS I'm going to stick my nose in the pub and see if Stuart's working hard Okay, I need something to stand on to finish this and then put CDs on it. I'm hot. The heating's been hot on like 20 degrees before I got here. I could throttle Gemma for it. Whew, man. We'll see you tomorrow.